Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a letter with a pattern inside it in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's start off in Illustrator. We're going to create a new document. So I'll come over here to Create New. Then I'll come up here to Print, and we'll go to Letter. And then we'll come over here to the bottom right to Create. Okay, now first let's start off with our pattern. And so let's draw a red star. And to do that, I'm going to come over here to uh, my rectangle tool and underneath it is the star tool. And now we'll just click and drag. I'm going to hold shift. And then this star is kind of a fatter star and I want a skinny star. So I'm going to hit option. That's on a Mac. If you are on a PC, that'll be alt. So I'm going to make this kind of small and I'll hit V on my keyboard to get to my selection tool and I'll just move this down and kind of center it on the page a little better. Okay. And now I want a red star. So I'm going to come over here. I've got a white fill and a black stroke and I don't really want a stroke. So I'm going to click that and then come down here and click none. Now I'll click the fill and I'll double click it. And we'll come up here and I'm going to make this red. So I'll bring the color right over here and we'll say, okay, now I'm going to go to my swatches panel. If you don't have this up or if you need any of these other panels up, they can all be found in window. So swatches is right down here at the bottom. Okay. And now I'm just going to click and drag this red star right into my swatches panel. And that'll make a new pattern swatch. And now we can double click this to edit it. When we do that, it'll change the look of our artboard. We have this little arrow with the new pattern swatch one. We've got save a copy done and cancel. And we also will get this pattern options window. And this is an example of what our pattern will look like. So I'm going to change this tile type to brick by row. And that kind of has offset the pattern a little bit. And I'm going to click size tile to art. I'm going to click this little button over here, which will keep these the same. So the horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing will be the same if you do this. Now I'm going to highlight this and use my arrow keys to increase it. You can kind of see what's happening here. We probably don't want it that big. I think I'll put it back down to 13 and maybe even less. All right. That looks perfect. Six points. All right, so I think our pattern is ready to go. So we'll hit done up here. Now this is going to look a little weird on your artboard. It's because it's taken the star shape and applied the new pattern to it. So if you want to see how your new pattern really looks, you can hit M on your keyboard to draw a big square. And now this has been filled with this pattern. So let's out our letter now. I'll hit T on my keyboard and click once and I'll hit B because my last name starts with the letter B. I'll get back on my selection tool and I'll just drag a corner holding shift so that it gets bigger. All right. This is looking really nice, uh, but I like the font Cooper. So let's go with that. Okay. So we've got our big B now. Make it just a little bit bigger. Okay. And now let's get our appearance. I'm going to add this pattern and a couple of outlines to this B and we'll do this all in the appearance. So I'll go to window appearance. Oops. Let's pull that out. Now, whenever you type like this, it'll always be in characters. So if I double click this, you can see a fill here in characters. And we actually cannot make changes really. We can change the color, but we can't add effects and stuff like that if we have the fill in character. So I'm going to click that fill and come down here to the trash can and delete it. And of course that makes us have no fill and no stroke on our B, but let's come up here to type, click on that, and then come out here to the fly out and add new fill. Okay. So now we have a fill and it's in type, not in characters. And that is really important. Okay. So now I want to change the black fill to maybe a blue. So I'll double click this black and we'll move this slider 
I like this color of blue right here. And then I'll choose an actual tone right here. And we'll say, uh, maybe, maybe I want it a bit darker. Okay, put it down here and we'll say, okay. So now we have a dark blue fill on our B. Now I'm gonna make a stroke and I'm gonna actually have two strokes on this. The first I'm going to put at um, about six. So you can see it's black there. Maybe we'll make it a little bit thicker. And I'm going to change this stroke to white. And now I'm going to click over here in the blank space of this stroke. Option, hold option first and then click and drag a copy below the fill. Holding option will make a copy. So we have a white stroke exactly behind the stroke in the fill. And that's why we can't see it. So let's make this about 22. You still can't see it because it's white. And now let's change it to red. And so let's get this red over here. Maybe we'll use this one. We'll say, okay. And now we can see that 22 point stroke behind there. Now you might say, well, if this one's 11 and this one's 22, why does the 22 stroke look so small? And that's because half of that stroke, 11 of it is behind the fill. And then this, all 11 of this is showing. So if we wanted to make this the same size as the white, we would need to make it 33. Okay, so now I want to apply the red stars on top of that blue. So that means I need another fill. So I'm going to click here and then I'm going to hold option and drag another fill right below it. Now we have two fills. They're both blue and they're right on top of each other. Now I want to change this top fill to the stars and we have that as a swatch over here. So I'm going to pull our swatches out and make them a little bit bigger. I've got a lot of other swatches in here that I want to get rid of. So I'll come to the fly out and choose select all unused. And then I'm going to just trash those. We'll say, okay. So now we can see our new pattern swatch over here and I've got this fill selected. I want the pattern swatch on top of the blue. So if we change this to the pattern swatch, you can see now that we have the pattern over top of the blue, which is exactly what we want. Okay, now this looks cool, but I would like those red stars to be a little smaller. So to do that, I'll have to adjust my swatch. So I'll get back here on my selection tool. I'll take that swatch image and I'll pull it out onto my artboard. Now I can just select it, hold shift, and just make it a little bit smaller like this. And then I'll drag it back over. I'll hold option or alt. And when you do this, you need it to be completely blue like it is with a little plus hand and then click and it'll drop it. And then it's updated that swatch everywhere. So now we have a lot of really small stars. Um, I also think this would look pretty cool if the stars were diagonal. So I'm going to click on this. I'll click on my fill in appearance. And now I'm going to hit R on my keyboard and then hold my tilde key. And that's right by the number one on your keyboard. So I'll hold down the tilde and uh, I'll rotate with R. So let's do that again. I'm going to undo back to straight up and down. First I'll hit R to get my rotate tool, which is right over here. Then I'll make sure that I'm clicked on the fill in my appearance. Then I'll hold that tilde key and then I'll click and drag to rotate those stars in there. And that's it. That's our letter B with a pattern fill. Making patterns in Illustrator is so fun, but they can get a little crazy. Luckily, it's easy to make a simple pattern like the one we made today. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, just hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, thank you.